And it shall come to pass that him that escaped the sword of Hazael shall Jehu slay. And him that escaped from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. <sighs> Anoint Hazael so he can continue to kill. Anoint Jehu so he can keep on wielding his sword, slaying anyone who escaped from Isaiah. Let Jehu deal with it. Anoint Elisha so that what the two of those two kings could not do, he would do. Just keep on slaying. Anointing for slaying. This is really deep water. You see, life is war. Life had always been war. It will always be war. Believe it or not, According to Genesis chapter 4 from verse 1 to 8, Genesis chapter 4 from verse 1 to 8, the first murder in human history happened as early as Genesis chapter 4. <laughs> the very first murder happened in the family of the first family of all, Adam and Eve. Cain killed his brother, Abel. And when you go a little further, by the time you get to Genesis chapter 27, and you can read it from verse 1 to 41, Genesis 27 from verse 1 to 41, when Jacob <laughs> colluded with his mother to take the blessings of Esau. Can you believe that kind of thing happened in Genesis? Mother colluding with one of her own children to defraud the firstborn. Well, the firstborn said in verse 41, no problem. I will wait till my father dies. And then Jacob, you are a dead man. Genesis, not in Revelation. War had always been there. Life is war. And the Bible made it clear. So don't deceive yourself. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Ephesians 6 verse 12 tells you clearly. We wrestle with principalities and powers. You are at war, my brother. You are at war, my sister. Let that be plain. 